Welcome to Booked, Simon. You join us on this filmed podcast. I know. Which is pretty I feel, exciting. I feel quite honoured. I know you want to talk about film, don't you? Because you're I think this a film buff. Oh, you think that question? I reckon that's right. It's really slick. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think that question. You Go on then. Question. Is it a film question? Final question. It is a difference between mediums question. Mm. So you look a bit worried there. Yeah, don't don't, so try worried. not to yawn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> <me too>. uh, <laughs> take it all in. Uh, go on. Um, yeah. What? <laughs> Because obviously there's many kinds of crime and thrillers across TV, film and books. Yeah. I mean, pretty much all the greatest TV shows can be classed as crime thrillers, really. I mean, the big three, <coughs> Sopranos, Wire, Breaking Bad, really. Anyway, I'm, what I'm the asking is, I think so. I think they're the three best, as most people agree. I'm just asking. See, I've, I've, not seen I've got Breaking young kids, so I'm thinking, Teletubbies. No, 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 is it that books, for that for you as a writer, you kind of want to capitalise on, and for you as a reader, what is it that books that give books us that TV and film can't, Don't. and Vice what versa. what is kind of common across them? Well, I think I think books. Yeah, I got. I think I'll answer yeah. kind of. Like yeah. Um, I think the thing about books um, is that, um, like music, really, <clears> books <throat> and music are the only two things I can think of that absolutely um, create uh, a story and an emotion internally and it's absolutely unique to whoever's reading it or listening to the music mm. you know it speaks to everyone slightly differently um, and um, because movies are great but you're watching someone else's vision and someone else has paced it and someone else has shot it and someone else has picked the locations mm. and so so much of it is done for you and, and, and there's a huge amount of storytelling that happens with that and you know the psychology of different light and shade and all that kind of stuff there's so many, there's a lot more storytelling that can happen with that and music is very powerful as well with pictures and, so that's an entirely cool. different kind of thing but the thing is you are still watching someone else's vision and that's why you know you will go and see a film by a director who you rate because mm. you like their vision and mm. because you like the sort of films they make but the thing with the book is you're doing it all you know you are absolutely painting that picture you know the, the author kind of gives you the framework but you are seeing that character exactly how you, how you see it, and they mm. sound a certain way. And again, and that's entire, you bring so much more to it. It's so much more intimate, I think. Um, and it's music does it as well. Music does it as well. It creates emotions and sort yeah. of stories and stuff, and very different. Um, well, it's and like radio as well. I think all of those can be grouped quite nicely together because it is almost like you are, you know, you're given that opportunity to open your imagination up a lot more. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But even radio, you've got a voice. Yeah. someone's chosen a voice whereas it's your voice and you can either read it as yourself or you can it's hear a voice or whatever and you've, you've got there's, far, there's mm. more with music and um, and books because music you've just got the notes you know I mean, I mean the songs and stuff again you've got a voice and it's start, it's mm. you know and, and normally an image of someone as well so you've got all that going on but music you know sort of just music well, we were talking before about but not um, yeah exactly yeah. and film music because film music is is it's kind of designed to get out of the way. You know, it's, it underpins something. It's yes, not telling you the yes. whole story. And so I, I, when I'm writing, I listen to loads of it because it really, um, it kind of unlocks a certain mood. Thank you so much. <laughs>